Buongiorno. All right, let's straight away brew some coffee. Now I start with 19 gram of coffee. And I'm gonna grind this with DF64. Now I would like to share with you guys that grinder is super important, okay? And this DF64, which I believe the most extremely affordable single dosing grinder that ever built on earth and this is just a perfect match for this machine or any 50s line machine from the lids now look at this the dosing cup provided which is supposed to be 58 millimeters actually fit just nice into our 57 millimeter porta filter now we use the lead leveler and the lead precise 57.35 millimeter tamper that is made especially for the lead bottomless porta filter for maximum result now you can see coffee powders are compressed perfectly into our porta filter so it's ready now let me set my scale there's plenty of room for your scale cup there's also plenty of room I measure it it's about 10 centimeters clearance now let's see how it goes manometer goes up to exactly 9 bar congratulations we have a great extraction going on here let me bring it closer to you look at that isn't that beautiful Whew. But anyway, we're using our home Ace Blend coffee. I think it's slightly a bit too fresh. I can see the overwhelming of crema, which not really to my fancy. Sometimes I find it slightly too bitter with too much of crema. But again, that is probably just me. If you like plenty of crema, then rest assured this machine will give you plenty of crema. My next video will be about how I froth milk and do latte art with Anna. So make sure to press that bell to be the first to know when I upload them. Now let's get into a more details about this machine. Now as you can see, every porta filter has kind of ears, they are left and right, or you call it wing, some people call it wing, I call it ear, so you snuck it in, in there in the group head, and then you turn porta filter. That's how the locking mechanism works, and on top of that, there is a rubber gasket make sure that it's snug and tight this is a super simple machine a power button with its indicator light that always on until you switch it off again of course steam button and coffee button share one indicator light next to them as I just switch on you can see second light indicator is not flashing that means it's not ready for brewing but when it is on like this, then you know it's ready to brew coffee. If you want to froth milk, then press middle button to activate steam mode. Look at the indicator light is now off again. That means it's not ready for steaming. Here is a tip on how you can fill up your tank safely. With this little simple funnel, better be safe then sorry now as i told you we have plenty plenty of room for a scale i'm using felicita arc with the provided double potter filter you can see it's a bit of a challenge but it's not impossible you just have to tilt your cup a bit and yep just like that if you have a bodum it works I'm using this Lelit 270cc cup, it's even no problem at all, at all I'm telling you. And, but if you're having this old fashioned cup, I'm, I'm afraid you're gonna have to remove your scale. 
what if you really can't buy another car then you have no choice you have to sacrifice your skill but with bottomless water filter of course we even have more room to play with there's plenty of room you just go in there you don't have to tilt put it sideways no LED tabs volume especially no problem at all but again if you have this old-fashioned cup again and again then you have to sacrifice your scale again or you can simply buy a more proper cup there you go I hope you find this video useful if you are considering this machine as your first machine then have no more doubt if you are looking for a good bargain, do check with Ace on Barista. They are having 12-12 promotion in Tokopedia for those of you in Indonesia and in Ace Home Barista website. You can also WhatsApp us or send us a message on Instagram or Facebook, whichever is your preferred way. So, see you on the next video on how to froth with the lead. Anna. Cheers!